Good evening everyone, it's a beautiful end of the day and I've popped out to my local site where I do a lot of my barn owl photography actually and as you can see they've been cutting the crops and baling everything up and what I thought I'd do this evening is just sort of bring you a very short uh, video and on a bag review on this bag which I used um, as my primary bag for my photography. Um, uh, I've had so many emails asking me, this, this, you've seen this featured in other videos and I've had a lot of emails asking me what the bag was, which I so I thought I'd do a, a quick review, tell you what I like and what I dislike about it, and the, really the reasons why I bought it in the first place. So the reason why I bought this bag was I was going off to Iceland a couple of years ago, and uh, I wanted the reassurance that I could um, get my hand, get all my equipment on the plane as a carry-on luggage rather than it go in the hold and risk breaking it and everything. So. I did a lot of research, I looked on the internet and I spoke to a lot of people and this bag by Gitso came out as one that was recommended by quite a few people actually. And um, it's called the 45 litre adventure bag. It's not cheap, I mean I don't think any bag uh, specialises in carrying heavy photography gear is cheap. Um, so I think it's about £250, you need to check on the internet, but they may have come down in price, but that's roughly what I paid for it. So I'm not sponsored by Gitso or anything, this is all my own purchase. And um, yeah, I do. I do love it. I think it's a great bag. I, I normally, when I uh, use, when I was carrying my gear around, I would carry it around holding the camera in my hand with the tripod over my shoulder. But I find myself more and more just packing the packing the lens down now and using this as a backpack um, and carrying it around that way on longer on longer hikes. So I'm going to walk through the features. I'm going to tell you what I like and dislike about it. And yeah, and hopefully you can make an informed decision whether you want to buy one or not. Right, let's start uh, showing you around the bag. So. Quite a simple bag. First thing I love about it is the colour. Um, obviously with wildlife photography you want to have um, sort of be quite discreet or anything bright and anything. So the colour really suits the type of work that I do. It's also, as you can hear, very water it's waterproof, totally waterproof. Um, two pockets on the side, there's one here, um, which you can put, I generally put a flask in there, put one of these in there to carry around. And you've got the same on the other side. Um, just a simple pocket. Well, this one is solid, so you can't actually put your hand through the bottom here. It's, it's solid. On this one, you can actually, um, und it's got two layers. You can undo the uh, outer layer and then undo the, the middle layer. And you can actually push something right through the bottom here, as you can see. So you could actually put your tripod legs through here and then do it up onto the tripod like that. Um, I don't carry the tripod that way, but the, I have seen people doing that way. Um, but my, my tripods I use are, are really quite heavy, so... Um, one of the features I love on, about this, this bag is this pocket on top. So this is really where you keep your, you can keep clothes, things you want to keep dry, so perhaps maps if you go on a hike or something. Um, for me, I keep my, my ghillie suit in here. So this basically, this basically folds down like that and it's clipped together on the side here, just like that. You have one both sides. Um, but I, I keep my ghillie suit in here at all times, so this, this stays with me and it's there ready to use whenever I need it. And then but there's, there's actually stacks of room in here, so it's about, you know, probably getting on for, a, you know, three quarters of a foot deep, you know, so it's quite big. Put lots of things in here and then obviously you roll this down like that and clip the two together. Right. Like so. So that's that's my gilly, that's where my ghillie suit stays. Um, in terms of obviously you want it to be comfortable as you can. Um, so this the padding on here is it's not the thickest padding I've ever I've ever had on a bag, but um, it's certainly adequate and it's, I haven't had any problems with the carrying the big lens with it cutting in, in its into my shoulders or anything. So it is quite comfortable to wear. 
Um, it's got a obviously a hard back here um, to protect your gear, and the back basically basically opens up completely. If I find the find the uh, and there's my gear all packed away in there. Um, so I'll show you around that now, and then uh, I'll show you and show you tell you what I don't like about it. And there's not much, but there is a few things I don't like about it. So. So this is how I've got the, the bag set up. Like most photography bags, you've got these Velcro inserts which you can take out and put in however you see fit. But I've got the big the big 600 mil here on a, it's got a 1DX Mark II, so you've got a big pro body on there. And one of the downsides is for this, is it, certainly with this lens and this big large body, and it'd probably be different on, on mirrorless bodies where they're a bit smaller, um, is it's very, very tight. So, it, they say, I think, I think they say in the documentation that you can actually fit, um, you know, it fits comfortably, but, but it doesn't. It is extremely tight. As I've used the bag, it's actually stretched, so um, so it is, a, it is tight, and you do feel a little bit, you're kind of squeezing it in there. Um, one of the pros of that is that obviously nothing moves, so this is locked in there now, and um, it's nice and secure. And then I have another camera body, which I have with me as a spare. I keep my um, 2X and my 1.4 extenders just there, plus some simple tools which I have, obviously some spare memory cards, and then the bits and bobs that I put in there, depending on what type of photography I'm doing for that day. So that's how it is. Um, there's no way of fitting this, there's no way of having this lens attached to a, an extender and fitting it in, in the bag as well. It just simply won't fit. So maybe with a 500 mil, there's a little bit more room, um, but certainly with a 600, it's extremely tight. Um, what else have we got on here? So another another uh, pocket, you've got another pocket here on a Velcro tag. This is for a laptop or an iPad if you're doing your processing out in the field. Oh, you've got an iPad pocket there and a laptop pocket. And that's basically it really. Again, it's all nicely finished. It's all very double, double stitched. Um, yeah, it's really. I've been really pleased with it. Generally speaking, apart from the, apart from the t the, the few pr um, cons that I've mentioned, where it's you know the camera's obviously very very tight in the bag. Um, I've been really really pleased with it. So obviously, when you're carrying the kit around, you want to carry one of these as well. And how I attach um, the tripod to the bag is this way. So on the front here, you can see these two straps here. Uh, these are basically clips which you can clip on and off. And then it's got these loops here which add support to the actual weight of the tripod being carried on the front here so i would generally just slip slip it in the front there tighten this up so it's nice and tight around the uh, around the legs and then as you lift it it's held on those clips like that and that just uh, is a very comfortable way of carrying the bag all the bit, the big lens and the tripod, all in one. Whereas before, I was carrying around, you know, uh, holding, hand holding the uh, the lens and carrying this tripod over my shoulder. So eventually, it gives you a bit of a bad neck or a bad back. So I found this, yeah, very very nice way of carrying my kit around and going out on some photography projects. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll leave all the information on the bag in the description below. Um, yeah, and plus all the other stuff in there. So I like the I had a little tool set there, which is very handy and I find super useful. So I'll leave all the information for that in there. Thanks for all the subscribers. Thanks for all the comments, the emails. You send me cons every day. It's, just, it's a real pleasure to talk to you all. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel, help the channel grow. Um, it really is appreciated. Lots more videos planned. I've got some barn owl ones coming up. I'm traveling up to Scotland in about three or four weeks time doing the mountain hares and red squirrels and that up there. So I'll, I'll certainly be vlogging up there. And uh, yeah, hope you're all having a, or you hope you're all staying safe and well. Enjoy your photography and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.